Alright, this is the second lesson in the designer segment of the uh, word tutorials. As you can see here, um, it's a make-believe birthday party invite. What we're going to do is try and get as many of these birthday party invites onto this one piece of paper. Um, so we save paper, that kind of thing. Alright, so let's begin. Alright, so uh, to do this we're going to create a table. So insert table. Um, let's just go with a one by one table. You can make tables have tons and tons of individual cells, but we're just going to go with one by one and we're going to highlight everything and drag it in and the picture is currently set on um, tight so it'll go anywhere we want we want it to be in line with text so if we double click it text wrap in line with text now we can drag it in and it fits nicely um, go to the far right hand side and once your mouse gets over it it'll become this line with two arrows going horizontally we can drag that in Okay, now we've got like the makings of a little party invite. Um, if we click on the table um, and go on this line option here, the borders, we can make uh, the borders um, either not exist or we can make them a bit thicker in this case, uh, which will probably suit our purposes a bit nicer. So we'll go with that. Um, we're going to center this picture of the honey badger. And we're going to change the font to make it look a little bit more party style. And I refuse to use Joker Man because everyone uses it. So I'm just going to go with... I don't know. Look, everyone uses this one too, but I'm doing it anyway. This Christian one looks very party-like. Um, and this name um, area here is probably pretty small. We want to be able to hand write that name in. So we're going to click on the end, press enter, then highlight this top area here and drag it down so that there is a bit of a space to write the name up there. Okay, now we've got our party invite. Okay, doesn't look like much, um, but this one will do. So, highlighting it, control C, control V to paste. Now we've got two of them, um, but you know, two on a page, not very efficient. We want to try and get as many on a page as possible, and judging by its size, we could probably fit four on this page. And so we're going to get a page layout margins and we're going to make it narrow okay so now we've got more room on our page but we also want to get these pictures i mean these uh, individual invites on this side now if we had have used shapes um, to create these little squares we could have just drag and drop them like a free moving picture um, but we're going to use columns just so you know how to columns two under the page layout area uh, ribbon sorry Okay, now when we paste again, uh, below the original two, um, it'll go up above it. Again, you'll notice there's a bit of lag there. We've got half of it on this side and half of it over there. So if we press enter below the one above it, it'll space it over there. And control V again. And now we've got four birthday invites. Now all you gotta do is save this. Um, as L2 designer onto your personal student drive um, and you're finished.